Tuesday, July 18th. We're fast forwarding through time. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Tuesday, July 18th. Okay, we've got the North Node again, and I could have added this extra piece on Monday, but I just wanted to take a pause and talk about the North Node before I brought in Pluto, the god of death, lord of the underworld, the planet of transformation in the cardinal earth sign symbolized by the goat Capricorn. This is an alignment that is occurring. I mean, the North Node and Pluto are going to be at the same degree from July 17th to August 5th. July 17th to August 5th. That is, how long is that? I mean, that's like over. Three weeks? Let's see. I just want to look at my calendar before I say something dumb. What? It is. Just three weeks. Almost three weeks. <laughs> it's almost three weeks. It's 12 days. Oh, it's 12 days? No, it, no, that's two weeks. See, I, see, I said something dumb. <laughs> I'm going to be kind and caring and nurturing to myself. It's 19 days. 19 days. So almost three weeks. Yes. 19 days, Ingrid. But it is three weeks because even when it's not at the same degree, they're still close to each other. But like, you can what, feel does, it. what does that tell you? I mean, Capricorn is the authority. Ooh. And Pluto transiting through Capricorn is a transformation to your relationship to authority, your relationship with yourself as an authority. Saturn has been trans or P Pluto has been transforming our relationship to authority since 2008. We want it to die. We don't want to keep doing things in the same way. Well, this is, and this is why it's happening at the end Ugh. where, where, you know, we have just another several months with Pluto in Capricorn. And so it feels really appropriate that the North node in Aries would be squaring Pluto in Capricorn for three weeks, mm. because if you want to be in authority, you have to take responsibility for yourself. And if you want to take responsibility for yourself, you have to be confident, courageous, and authentic in who you are and what you want. I think like that square energy can be uncomfortable, but for some reason it seems very exciting. Like yes, if you are speaking your truth, being direct, really putting yourself out there with your North node energy, where you want to be in this world, what you're meant to do, that will shift. That will be a death of the old way of doing things in terms of achievement and success. Mm -hmm. And, and we, but we want that. Like mm -hmm. maybe that's scary to think of yourself in this new light, but Fuck that. I don't want to keep doing the same things over and over. Like I'm ready to level up like that death of the old way is an opportunity for things to actually like bloom the way that you are intending now in your life, being empowered with your North node to move forward and not be fearful of letting go of things that aren't serving you anymore. Exactly. You're, make room for some new shit that feels better. Exactly. Yes. Like, where do you want to be by August 5th? Like, what's the ledge yes. that you want to be standing on by August yeah. 5th? Uh, it, it is uncomfortable to square, but the uncomfortable part comes with you're going to have to actually put your face out there. Uh, you got to do you're something. Gonna, you're going to have to do something. You're going to have to face the authority. You're going to have to take responsibility. You're going to have to hold yourself accountable. Oh, you're going to have to say that, that I Holy am responsible for my success. My friend Meryl, like she's a Capricorn sun, no, Capricorn moon, moon. Yeah. Leo sun. Um, yes. But she is having some career shifts. Her podcast is going away. She's setting intentions for a new podcast. And just the, the idea of letting something go so something else new can come in, but also the accountability for ourselves. Both of us were just like, we need to make sure we're doing all the things for us because mm -hmm. we're the only... We're the only one that's going to do it for ourselves. And if, like we even talked about like envy or like jealousy. It's like anytime you feel that envy, that's like a, that's a marker and it's a good marker. You're jealous. Okay. Really? You should be excited. Oh, I feel jealous. Oh, that means that's what I want. That's mm -hmm. something that I want that I can have if I put in the work, if right. I hold myself accountable, I can have that too. Mm -hmm. It's like 
reframing the jealousy or envy of like, oh, well, they don't deserve it. Bitch, they do because they got it. And they yeah. worked They worked for it. So you exactly. have to look at yourself and be yes. like, okay, take some responsibility and put yes. in the work. Yes, exactly. Shit doesn't happen by magic. Maybe for, you know, a handful of people, they get so lucky. But most of it just takes hard work. Like, There's always work involved. I mean, people are talented. People are lucky. But well, I think it's a combination of yes. hard work, you know, consistency and, you know, eventually luck will play in there. You have the right moment where you meet the right person and you've been putting in the work, then something is going to happen. You will have an oppor- That's what an opportunity is. Well, it's like it- hard work and consistency meet opportunity. That's luck. Yeah. Does, isn't the saying goes, is it luck is when opportunity meets, um, oh, I had it. It was uh, I thought preparation, I made <laughs> preparation. When preparation okay, yeah. meets opportunity, that's when luck happens. That makes and sense. preparation comes through doing the work. You're prepared mm-hmm. because you've done the work. You can take advantage of the opportunity. Yes. Otherwise, you get you have the opportunity and you're not prepared. Well, then that's useless. The luck is exactly. There is no luck there. You're going to be sad and disappointed yes. that you weren't prepared. Yes. So step forward, challenge yourself, climb.